Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Sport Trek 322 VBH. This is a beautiful quad bunk house, nice and open inside too. But let's go ahead and start up front here. We'll make our way around the outside and then head on in. Right up front, you see they do have the power tongue jack there. That's definitely a great addition. It makes hooking up and disconnecting your trailer from the tow vehicle extremely easy. Rather than wearing out your arm, you can just go ahead and touch a button. There is a light on there as well for extra visibility at night. Right behind that are your two 20-pound propane tanks with the propane tank cover there. And then behind that, you will see you have some rails. That, of course, is where your battery box will go. Currently, we have a jumper hooked up so we can turn all the cool lights on. Uh, but again, that is where it would be. Coming right up the front here is diamond plating. It's black diamond plating, which is great because it helps blend in with the rest of the camper. And it still does an excellent job of protecting the front end from any rocks or debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And right above that, it's really cool look. Uh, you know, this is newer for Sport Trek this year. They did the three-quarter front cap on here, which really gives it an aggressive look. Beautiful decal work on there and an LED light right up front. If you come around to the side, we'll see a couple things. One of the things you will notice is this right here, which is solar prep. Uh, this unit's already pre-wired, so if you do want solar, all you have to do is buy the Furion panels, plug them in right there. The panels have the charger built in, or the controller rather, and that will trickle charge your battery. Right next to that, your pass-through storage. Magnetic on there, so you just put it up, stays up, super simple and easy. Nice big pass-through. You will also see the LED light in there. Uh, if you take a look at the sidewalls, great construction. Uh, they do use aluminum in the sidewalls here. It's a laminated sidewall. It's not just, you know, rolled on there or anything. You don't have to worry about it being hung wall construction. Very well built here. Uh, you'll see the power awning, 18 foot power awning on this coach. Touch a button that rolls out, same thing to go right back in. Two entrances and exits. This one right here is the main one. You'll see you have three steps leading up to it. The front one is nice and low. So if you, know, if you have a hard time getting in or bad steps, maybe your camper now is a big leap, not, the problem here, not a problem here. And you also have the easy grab handle, which will assist you entering into the coach. Another cool thing that Sport Trek does, maybe kind of tough to see in the daylight, but underneath here, you do have a blue LED light. You have that on the steps. You also have one at each jack. Uh, the reason for that is, of course, so you can see at night. A lot of times, a lot of people are like me when you go camping. It's after you're done working. You get to the campsite, you start to set up, starts to get dark on you. Now you're able to see the jacks. You know, if you're entering or exiting the coach at night, you can see the steps so you don't trip and hurt yourself uh, going in or out. Right here is an electrical outlet, so of course you need to plug anything in there, great place to do it. This is underneath the awning, so if you want to set up a table right here, you can certainly do that. Hook up a crock pot or something, making me hungry already. Uh, take a look at the rims on there. You have the aluminum alloy rims, those are definitely great looking, and also they help prevent any kind of rose, uh, rust or corrosion, so they will stay looking nicer longer. Then you see nitrogen filled tires on there for a better ride going down the road. This is your second entrance right here. This one goes directly into the bathroom. That again, it's very important, especially in a bunk model. I like when manufacturers do this because, you know, maybe if your kids are anything like mine, they're constantly in and out of the trailer to use the bathroom. This makes it really simple. Or if you have guests, same thing. That way they're not traipsing dirt through the whole RV. And this one also has a light underneath. Then right back here, beautiful outside kitchen. You can look at that, see the big TV there, which is cool. So if you want to catch the game, able to do it right there. You have the speakers here, multimedia center, blue back, black, the blue backlight. Gives it a really cool look there as well. You can see on both sides, additional storage, great place for some cups. Then right here is your pull out kitchen. You see you have the sink. You just screw the faucet right in there. It's pretty simple. Uh, right here is your two burner cooktop. When you pull this all the way out, you'll see you have the locks right here. Those just lock in the side. Refrigerator, got to have that. Of course, that way you can have your beverages out here as well, some extra condiments. The door itself is pretty cool. It kind of acts as a second awning. That way, if you are out here cooking and it's raining, you have some cover, and it also helps keep the glare down on the TV. So we come around to the back side. Sport Trek does some really cool things back here, too. We'll start up at the top there. You see this unit is prepped for a backup camera, so if you do want one, it's a lot easier to have that installed. 
Also, you have the ladder right here. It is a fully walkable roof with 3 8 inch decking up there. So uh, that way, you know, if you have to get up there for any kind of maintenance or to clean it off, very easy to do so with the ladder. And then the last part I want to talk about is this guy right here, which is your travel rack. This is really sweet. Uh, a lot of people want this, but what they don't realize is this is just not something that attaches to your bumper, okay? This, if you take a look at the frame, I mean, it's welded in here. It's built specifically for it. This is a huck bolt frame, and it's a reinforced frame as well. That way it can take the torque of whatever you put on here. Uh, so, you know, you can drop that down. You can put totes on there. If you want to strap some logs on there for firewood, you can do that. Uh, bikes, definitely a great bike rack. Once you get to your campsite, you can still use this. Just use it as a, another table, something like that. But it does offer a lot of versatility. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Sport Trek 322 VBH. This particular model is in the brownstone interior. So as you can see, nice open floor plan through here, which is great. Uh, if we take a look over here at the kitchen, you will see you have good countertop prep space here. Uh, they did a very nice job. They gave you the sink top cover here as well. The, the seamless countertops are an upgrade this year too. So, you know, definitely a nice aesthetic to that. And they hold up a lot better as well. And then your sink top cover, we can just go ahead and take that guy off. You'll see it is a undermount double bowl stainless steel sink there, which again is very nice, makes it easy to wash and dry dishes. And you have the pull out high rise faucet here in order to further aid with that. Uh, right back here's a nice big window to let in some natural light. And then up top, you have your LED light here, uh, as well as an electrical outlet. So if you need to plug anything in, you can do it there. And if you take a look at the entire coach, it actually has LED lights. That's a big deal, especially if you do any boondocking. Uh, they help uh, lower the heat. They don't put out near as much heat as your standard lights. And also they use a fraction of the power. While we're taking a look at the ceiling, a couple other things. You will see a nice big skylight here during the day. Let's in a lot of natural light. Some speakers up here as well. And you have a ducted AC with quick dump. So that way, if you're loading or unloading and you want to get this space nice and cool, just open that up. It'll dump all your cool air right in here. Then when you're done, you can close it and it will travel through your ductwork. Uh, but back to the kitchen. So right here is your uh, three burner cooktop. You can take a look at that guy. If you look underneath, right there is your oven. Now some storage underneath these uh, sink top and countertop here as well. You have a lot of storage. You have the drop down tray right here. Three full extension ball bearing drawers. So plenty of drawer space. Open this up, take a look. You have plenty of room there for a trash can. Another thing, I love when manufacturers do that. You know, you have to have a place for your trash. You don't want it sitting out. That's a big deal right there. Then if you take a look over here, uh, some additional storage right as soon as you come inside. So, you know, if you want to put some shoes, flip-flops or something there, uh, that's probably what I would do. Now, right up here is your hood with a light and fan, microwave there, a little bit of pantry storage over here, which is pretty cool. Now, one of the things that Sport Trek does very well is they try to utilize all the space. And you'll see right up here, they give you what is called a tech box. So up top, you'll see you have an electrical outlet as well as a couple USB ports, shelf there as well. So that way you have a place to charge your electronics, whether it's a cell phone, tablet, whatever it may be. It's not out cluttering up your countertop. Rounding out the kitchen is the Norcold fridge freezer combo. You can take a look in there. You have a ton of space, which is nice. Cut out for some taller items there. This unit does run off both propane, electric, and also has automatic switchover. The other thing I like about it is the thermostat is right here on the outside, so it is very easy to adjust the temperature. Moving back a little bit further, you'll see your dual thermostat here controls both your heat and your AC. Then right in here is the bathroom. As I showed you outside, you have the double door there for easy entry. Right down here in the corners, your foot flush lever toilet, plenty of leg room on it, porcelain toilet as well. And then you can see the sink top and vanity. You have storage underneath there, which is a uh, great, nice big medicine cabinet with a mirror. Then over to the side is your tub shower. That way if you wanna give the kids a bath, you can. You can see up top here, you have a skylight, some shelves in there, and then a hand wand to make washing easy. Now, as we make our way back uh, into the bunk room, right before we do a couple things, one, they give this pretty neat picture frame, which I like, you know, that way, Maybe your first camping trip out, you take a family photo, put it in there, pretty neat. Then right over here, you'll see some additional pantry space. You have a door on the top and bottom there. Not super deep, but again, as I mentioned, they're great at fully utilizing all the space in here. 
And as you come back into the bunk room itself, you'll see quad bunks. Well, three bunks and a couch rather, but uh, this is great. Right up top, you have a nice wide bunk here. You can see how big that one is. Ladder is built in, so it is easier to climb up. Underneath here, of course, is your bunk. If you take a look underneath, you have good storage. You can see that there. And then a couple additional drawers here. Now, what's really neat, though, is across the way. So you take a look over here. Uh, top bunk, you know, this is pretty standard. Folds up, locks into place. You've probably seen that several times. Teddy Bear Bunk Series as well. Very comfortable bunks. But underneath, not only do you have a couch here, you also have a spot for a table. Uh, this is a jackknife sofa, so this does drop down into a bed. You can see all the storage you have underneath. Right there's the table. That's a big table, guys, which is nice. You know, you have the, the, four, bunk, the four beds back here. You'll have lots of kids. They can sit back here, have a meal together, play a game together. Uh, it just gives them a lot more usable space. The other thing I love is this. Great storage here. And look, you actually have hanging space. Far too often, you know, when you have the bunk house, you don't have a place to hang any clothes. They do provide you some here. So we make our way back out in the main living area. We can take a look at the super slide here. So right away, one of the things you'll notice is the U-shaped dinette, and it is a massive U-shaped dinette. This thing is almost seven and a half foot long. So uh, the big advantage of that is if you have someone that's really tall in the family and they can never, you know, they never want to go camping, they don't have a bed big enough, this is one they can actually sleep in. You drop the table down here by taking the legs out, sets along those rails, take the cushions, fill it in, and it makes a massive bed. The other great thing about having a big table you have quad bunks back there. Chances are you're going to have a lot of people camping with you. So that way you have enough room where everyone can sit around here and play a game together, which again is really cool. Uh, any kind of storage is easy to access. You'll take a look right over here. Look at that. Pull out drawer. Can't beat that, right? That's really nice. The other side here just has a swing open door, but again, easy to access everything in there. Another thing I like that Sport Trek does is all the cushions here are made in house and they are all reversible. So as I mentioned, this is the brownstone interior, but let's say you're like, you know what? I'm sick of the brownstone. I want to change it up a little bit. Look at that. You can flip it over. You have a leather side here. Same thing with the bottom. You can pull this seat out. Look at that. You have leather on the bottom there too. So, you know, maybe the kids get back from swimming or, you know, they're messy eaters or spilling ice cream. Not an issue. You can flip this over, have the leather look there, and now they're not making a mess. It is easy cleanup. So pretty cool. Uh, if you have to do any work, maybe you have a laptop or tablet you need to plug in, you will see right down there is the electrical outlet so you're able to do that. Nice big windows here all the way around. You can uh, take a look at those. They let a ton of natural light in here. LED lights going all the way across the top. Some additional storage right over here. Nice wide doors too. The thing I like about this is, you know, if you have uh, some wider items, you can slip them in there, which is cool. Because a lot of times they just give you these tiny doors above here. Uh, so I do like those are a little bit wider. But underneath, this is a jackknife sofa. Extremely comfortable. If you take a look at the padding on here, look at that. That's a comfortable couch, which I love. Then underneath, we'll go ahead and open this guy up. Like I said, it is jackknife. So very similar to the one in the back. The big advantage of the jackknife sofa is all the storage you get underneath. So that way, if you, you, know, you have a place to put all your extra bedding, your pillows, whatever else you need for guests, stuff it right underneath there. Move over here, the entertainment center. Look at this. They don't box this in. They leave this nice and open. If you want a big TV in here, they give you the space to put it in there. So that's pretty neat. If you don't want a TV... Not a problem. You have a nice wall. You know, you can put a picture or something up here, put some decorations. You know, not a TV person. This is still a very usable piece. And underneath, you see you have a fireplace. This is great. Not only does that look really nice, but it's also essentially a space heater. So what you can do is, you know, you go camping. You have shore power. You plug this guy in. You say, I don't want to use propane, but you know, it's a little cold out. No worries. Turn that guy on. It will heat this space up. It'll do a good job of it. So very neat. Uh, right above that is your multimedia center. That is a DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, you can pop it in. It's also your radio and CD player, and it's Bluetooth capable. You'll see right over here to the side, they built in a switch. This unit runs off 30 amps. So to be able to do that and have your air conditioner, microwave, and a fireplace, they have a switch right here that lets you choose between the fireplace and the microwave. That way it can still remain a 30 amp unit. Now a little bit of additional storage here on both sides. You can see that there. Some of your controls right over here, slides, awning, as well as your lights. 
and then you have additional storage here up top. The bedroom of the 322 features a queen size bed. Now the bed is a little bit shorter than your standard 60 by 80, but the reason for that is so you have all this walk room so you can easily get around the bed. Now if you want that full 80 inches, what they do provide you is this little foam piece right here, which is pretty neat. So all you do is you slide the bed down a little, you'll drop this foam piece in at the head, and that will give you your full 80 inches here. And of course your pillows will be right on top of that, so you don't even know it's there. Uh, you also have a nice headboard right up here. You can see the leather headboard there. Some LED reading lights as well as some accent lights along the back. It's controlled by this switch right here. Another cool thing they've done, right up in the corner you have these shelves built in. So you have some space up on the shelf as well as down below. Electrical outlet on both sides. Uh, you also have USB ports over here. So you need to charge your cell phones. It's easy to do. Or if you have a CPAP machine, you can still sleep on either side of the bed. Then right here, you see you have good hanging wardrobe space. If you look how far down that goes, uh, if you have taller items in here, like maybe a dress or something, you know it's not gonna totally fall down on the bottom, uh, just a little bit taller than a lot of them you see. And then right up top, some good additional storage. This is nice and deep too. Again, a lot of times, you know, it's about half this distance, but there's a lot of storage going all the way back. If you take a look up the ceiling, you will see there's a vent here, window on both sides, so you can open some windows up, open that guy up, get a nice cross breeze coming through, or of course it is ducted for AC, so you can turn the AC on as well. Right here at the foot of the bed is a place for a TV, so if you do want one, that is where you would mount it. Your, uh, of course, connections are right up top there as well. But all right, folks, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Sport Trek 322 VBH in the brownstone interior. This is a beautiful travel trailer. If you're looking for a quad bunk unit, you know, you want something that's quality, something that's going to last, this is one you have to take a look at. Nice and open with the big slide out. You have the double door, one right into the bathroom there, and then you have the outside kitchen. The exterior is gorgeous. Uh, if you are interested, you can either give us a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this walkthrough, be sure to join our YouTube channel. That way you'll be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.